we are working on a PC. This is a desktop PC here with me. Its power supply is bad beyond uh, repair and we are going to replace its power supply. I'm not going to purchase a new power supply for this instead. I'm using an old power supply from another PC. The power supply is good but it's not matching to the system and we will make it match to the system uh, which the computer I am having. So here is the procedure how we will do it. Here is this PC as you can see the power supply is omitted for this one as the power supply will come somewhere over here in this location and there is no power supply. The reason for the omission of the power supply was the PC went bad it is something giga, gigabyte board the power supply went bad beyond repair and they sent this PC to me this is for one of my friends and he asked that I have to repair it so I'm going to repair it I'm going to put another power supply in and uh, for this purpose what we have to do is we have to look for the specifications and what power supply is available with us we will put that I'm not going to purchase any new power supply for this one instead what is available in my hand I will use or reuse that one so for this PC as I can see there is a hard drive and uh, standard whatsoever this uh, 4 pin connector is there which is the old style and here this is the ATX uh, power supply for the motherboard standard connector but 24 pin not 20 pin this is a new style 24 pin okay next thing is for sure uh, this small connector 4 pin you can see this is also coming as a 0 volt 12 volt for uh, 2 pins 12 volt and 2 pins 0 volt this is for the uh, VRM power supply VRM is here for the uh, processor and uh, then of course the next thing is uh, this thing we have to look for the new power supply in these terminals should be there and by this way we will fix it so the power supply which I am having in my hand I am going to show you this one as uh, standard connectors are there these uh, four pin connectors are there but uh, the problem with this one here you can see there is a 20 pin connector not 24 so this we will extend as well as what we will do is as you can see the all the connect all the pins all the outs there is no four pin other output which is coming for the motherboard vrm as i show so these things we will incorporate in this power supply so for this purpose i am going to crimp uh, new connectors new uh, connectors yes and new cables i'm going to put it with this power supply i'm going to show you on the camera what i'm going to do with this particular power supply to make it ready for our new style pc or whatsoever this uh, core to do pc supply was not for core to do instead it was for older uh, whatsoever this uh, pentium 4 so with this one as you can see i have this for vrm this four pin I grabbed from another uh, old power supply and here I have this 4 pin which will come along with this one to make it 24. So first we have to solve for this one. So the other thing is which I am going to show you the important thing where it will come either here either there. So for sure it will come here like this. So in the uh, new power supply there is a way that you have to put it in there is a special uh, whatever these uh, produced uh, endings are there edges so they are fixing in this and then it is coming in the way like this and then this is fixing properly but unfortunately over here this situation is not so what we will do we will modify it a little bit as here you can see these two edges we will cut them down so then this power this connector will go in the power supply so I'm going to Cut it down using my kitchen knife, sharp enough, will take care of my fingers for sure. So by this way I will trim it down like this, I cut it a little bit, it's okay. So now you can see it's coming well along with this one, there is no gap, this is something like standard. And also I have to cut down a little bit, trimming down a little bit here also. So that it will fix without any problem. So 
So it will go in a perfect way on the board. Something like this. So then now is the time to fix cables. To fix cable is this red wire, this is actually 5 volt, it will go to the same red here. So I have to make it a little bit stripping on. I'm worried I should not cut it. The problem is it's not coming well by this way. It's okay to some extent you can see. And then afterwards I will solder it for sure because soldering is a must. So one I'm going to show you how to do it and then the rest I will do off camera. So by this way it is and now I'm going to solder it. So for sure using my uh, trusty soldering iron I have to solder it. So you can see it is soldered. Now I have to insulate it. There is no way to put any shrinking sleeve or any sort of glass sleeve. Instead I have to use whatsoever this 3M which I am which is my favorite uh, 3M tape rubber. I have to put it on. By this way I am going to insulate it and with the weather effect or temperature it will fixed it will be fixed properly and with the passage of time it will become as a rubber as a shrinking sleeve so by this way I will do it for all other wires which is of course ground and here is 3.3 .3 volt which is orange and here is yellow 12 volt so all I will do and of course I will do this one also and then I will show after fixing everything so here is the after shot as you can see this is for the VRM 12 volt so I connected here with the same yellow wire and uh, 12 volt yellow wire and two blacks two blacks I connected one yellow wire will serve for two both yellow and of course here in this uh, 24 pin connector as you can see I just put it in here as you can see this one is coming well here with this bolt and here is a 20 pin and it's matching and 24 pin is combinedly so what from my experience and from my knowledge what I know is this yellow wire uh, this white wire should not be there this is something uh, power healthy signal or something like that uh, if I'm not correct please correct me uh, but this wire should not be there in the today's CPUs I mean to say the motherboards they are not needing this wire from the power supply so we are going to cut it down as uh, this is not needed in the new power supplies this is not coming this is omitted so for the for here also we can omit it by cutting it this thing I did not mention it before I forget it so now I am going to cut this wire as I show you so this wire this is close to two red wires in the 20 pin connector this wire is no more needed so I just cut it down and I will tape it of course here and uh, there will be no need for tape over here because this is not exposed even I will make it a little bit insulated and by this way I am going to switch on the power supply so here I am going to make it down on the motherboard this connector now it's clipped as you can see here also for the VRM I clipped it down and uh, from the power but first, first I have to put the power lead in here you can see this I did not fix it yet screws were etc but uh, the rest is okay everything is in I just put it in the power and from the power button I have to switch it on from here so as you can see the CPU switched on you can see for the fan for the processor fan as well as for the power supply fan also you can see so this thing switched on and come on very well without any problem I'm not going to show you the screen but instead from here you can understand that the system is working 
thank you for watching if this video help you helped you uh, please uh, like and subscribe uh, you will get more and more videos for technology and electronics computer also thank you for watching keep on watching stay tuned